So you're the adventurer of whom I've heard so much. Well met, friend. My name is Minfilia, and I lead the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. I have awaited your coming. Please, be at ease. You are among friends here. No doubt you are ripe to burst with questions. But have patience. All will be revealed in time. First, let me begin by telling you who we are and what we do. We are the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, an order that transcends political boundaries. Our single objective is the preservation of the future of Eorzea. Among our gravest concerns are the godlike beings known as the Primals. Their existence is a bane upon Eorzea. Nay, the world at large, and we have striven to find a lasting solution to the threat they pose. Our order is home to a number of individuals who, like you, possess a rare and special talent. This talent takes various forms, but one holds particular interest for us. Tell me, have you ever experienced a sudden, inexplicable loss of consciousness? Have you ever had the sensation of being pulled away from reality? Felt as though you were hovering in space, a mind without a body? All these things are the manifestations of your talent. Yours is the power to transcend the boundaries of the soul, a power known as the Echo. The Echo allows you to pass through the walls of a man's soul and hear the resonations of his past. You will be there in his memories and see things as he saw them. You may even interact with that which you see, though you cannot change the outcome of events. For another blessing, the Echo will enable you to know a man's mind even if you cannot comprehend his words. In short, the Echo is a truly extraordinary power, and this power is strong within you. It is only a shame that we cannot use it whensoever we choose. That's right. I, too, possess the Echo. With that established, let us return to the subject of the Primals. So long as they exist, the realm cannot take so much as a single step towards true peace. Measures must be taken. Measures which transcend boundaries, be they of faction, race, language, or creed. And to do so, the Scions require the aid of those with our talent. Make no mistake, the Echo will be instrumental in dealing with the primal threat. Without it, we cannot hope to save the realm. I know not what it is you desire for yourself, nor what it was that first brought you to Eorzea, but I firmly believe that the power we possess was given to us for a purpose. Why else would the gods entrust man with a gift so extraordinary, if not to have him use it? And so I implore you, Lend us your power.
I take it you will help us. Wonderful. I knew you wouldn't let us down. But come, I would introduce you to your friends in the Order. Tell me, does the name Charlian ring any bells? It used to be one of Eorzea's six city-states, and was situated in the northwest of Aldenard. The Charlians were the keepers of wisdom both old and new. Their mastery over magic and ether was unsurpassed, and even the Garlians knew to fear them. Among their number, there were a noble few who devoted their lives to safeguarding the future of Eorzea. When the realm began its descent into chaos, and their countrymen fled for the motherland, they alone chose to remain here. These noble men and women were called the Archons. Those same brave souls stand before you now. The masked woman is Ida, and beside her is Popolimo. The two are charged with surveying the Twelveswood. Hello there! Welcome! I had every confidence that you would agree to help us. Me too. <gasps> okay, my turn to introduce someone. That there is Thancred. He is our man here in Ulda, Jewel of the Desert. Welcome to the team. If I may, the lovely maiden beside me is named Yastola. Limsa Lominsa has the pleasure of being under her care. Greetings. Last but not least is Orianger, who presides over all affairs within these halls. Pray seek him out whenever you have questions. Dawn may banish even the darkest night. The words of a dear friend. I am glad of our meeting. At the Battle of Cartineau, our leader was taken from us. But we did not stray from our purpose. We sought out Minfilia and others with her talent, and together established the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Along with the Archons, those blessed with the Echo play a pivotal role in our endeavor to forge a brighter tomorrow for the realm. Oh, I should also introduce you to Tataru, our clerk. She ensures that everything runs smoothly. Pleased to make your acquaintance. In time, I hope you will come to think of us as family. But without further ado, I would assign you your first task. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have received a request for aid from the Immortal Flames. Thancred, would you do the honors? It would be my pleasure. Some days ago, a crystal caravan registered to Amagina and Sons Mineral Concern was waylaid and divested of its cargo. But there is more. Within a bell of the robbery, several people were reported missing from the shantytown outside the city. At a glance, one would assume the involvement of bandits, kidnappers, and coincidence. Such crimes are hardly uncommon, and the immortal flames deal with their like almost every day. However, this time we have reason to believe that a primal is involved. Aye. The evidence left behind implicates the Amolja, who are known worshippers of Ifrit. If we then consider the objects that were taken, there is no room left for doubt. The crimes were committed in the name of a primal. That you may better understand the nature of our struggle with the primals, I would have you play the leading role in this investigation. You have my thanks. If there is aught you wish to know, I recommend you speak with Thancred. He is well versed in the affairs of Ulda. Ever at your service, dear fellow.